Today we're going to talk about basic human rights and how homeless people should also be respected and um, have human rights. Okay? And something really horrible happened and that really made a lot of people f uh, feeling indignant about it. is this brainwater thing that you read. Uh, did you read You read about it, right? So we're going to talk about that. So uh, I guess recently, um, uh, it was in October. Uh, and we're in Taiwan. Yes, we're in Taiwan. <laughs> uh, somebody said something about how um, people should be paid to spray water on homeless people during a city councilor meeting uh, in Taipei, which is crazy, right? Is that not crazy? Especially not only that she said it, but that, you know, nobody said anything about it um, until this, you know, news just came out today. And human rights um, activists are extremely upset about this. So, uh, you know, you see a lot of people in Taipei and in other parts of um, Taiwan that are homeless. And we don't necessarily know the reasons why they're homeless. But um, what do you think about these comments? And how do you think that, you know, they impact people? She actually came out and apologized a few times, and some people felt like she was not uh, being very um, honest. And she put it on her Facebook wall. Yeah, she put it on her face. After apologizing, then she wrote again something similar on her Facebook. Well, you see, I don't have uh, sympathy for her. But I have to say that she apologized a few times, even though I didn't feel like she honestly knew how huge this mistake was. Because this is basically coming from her, you know, subconsciousness that she said, well, those people are horrible. You need to spray water on them and you can get, you know, uh, you can get money from spraying on them. And that's just horrible. And the reason why I brought this up is uh, I think everyone deserves basic uh, respect. And homeless people are not different from you and me. And they're not different from the president. They're not different from any officials and they shouldn't be looked down upon and the reason why we have homeless people is because of poor economy and uh, we created those homeless people. And I mean she was also saying something about in this meeting how these homeless people you know some of them had AIDS and some of them were rapists and murderers and that um, one of them was executed yes recently she did and it's, it's just really a terrible thing to think that somebody in a position of power is so discriminatory against a certain group of people. Um, it's really crazy that, you know, like you said, homeless people are no different from any of us. And in fact, you know, some of their stories are probably quite sad. So it's something that um, is really outrageous, uh, especially with human rights groups in Taiwan right now. And is something that maybe we shouldn't consider so lightly that somebody in a position of power would say something like this. Absolutely. I, uh, I generally think she's not going to be elected again, for sure. But um, I also want us to be fair that the mayor, Taipei City Mayor, actually came out and said, you know, they have human rights, they need to be respected, they are looking into this and uh, whatever going to happen, I'm not sure because you know where you know a lot of the politicians are like oh we're going to do this and that and they don't do it, right? But um, I do want the government and Taiwan as a nation to know that we've created the poor and the needed and they need to be helped, not condemned. Mm -hmm. And we're responsible for these people. No matter they are criminals or if they're criminals, we jail them. Yeah. <laughs> and then if they, are, if they have uh, psychological problems, we get them 
medicine or uh, um, um, counseling sessions, right? Yeah. And in other places in the world, they have programs, and I'm not sure maybe some of the NGOs here in Taiwan have these programs, but they have programs for homeless people to help get them off the streets, basically. They'll give them, you know, shelter and food and help them with their resumes. They find companies that are willing to work with homeless people. They um, take them to, you know, a consignment store and help to dress them and, and help them to get a job, get back on their feet so that they can live and that, you know, they can, they can survive. So this is something that's really important in Taiwan, this basic human right that needs to be respected um, is that everybody is a person not just because you have money or not just because you have you know uh, connections that it's also about just being a person and it doesn't matter where you go in Taiwan you can find homeless people there um, just as you can find every other group of people exactly uh, social welfare now is not um, it's it's not very um, sound. We don't have a sound system for social welfare. I think uh, they also cut some of the budgets actually uh, because the economy is bad and we're running debts. And um, but still, I think we have a long way to go. I think uh, you're from Canada. I know the social welfare there is good. It's very good, right? And uh, the homeless, are there homeless? Uh, are there homeless problem in Canada? Um, there are homeless people, but there aren't as many homeless people. Um, I see a lot more homeless people in Taiwan. And actually in Canada, which isn't such a big problem in Taiwan, um, I don't think, but a lot of those people uh, do hard drugs. So Canada has to set up like methadone clinics to help those who run heroin, or you know, if you're going to give to the homeless and you buy them a sandwich, you don't give them money because they're just gonna go and buy drugs with it. Um, but in Taiwan, there was like at one point uh, a few years ago some paper released about how a lot of people who act homeless and are like you know in the night markets with uh, no arm or something like that are kind of faking it and there was a whole scandal where yeah, you know yeah, all of that yeah. stuff so I think that maybe homeless people here have a bad reputation but that doesn't mean that we can just let it go you know at the same time whatever their reputation is they need to be helped you know Taiwan is supposed to be an advanced country by our uh, annual income per person. Yeah, uh, but uh, um, I see people treating homeless people as like pests. Yeah, like dogs. Like dogs, and uh, that's just not right because uh, when I was in the States, uh, homeless people are homeless people, but uh, we still respect them as human beings. I don't see people paying respect um, to actually the stories behind them. That's right. And I think we should um, help understanding and uncovering why uh, they would become homeless. And I hope that after this remark that this particular person maybe turns it around, gets involved if she realizes that what she said was inappropriate and tries to, you know, find the stories and um, help people who are homeless, you know, to set up some additional programs. Well, compared to um, uh, somebody we talked about as a minister, smearing Tsai's campaign. <laughs> I think she's much better, like the city councillor. I mean, compared to, uh, in terms of scale, she's coming out to apologize and, you know, uh, actually hang, uh, hanging out with those homeless people again and saying, you know, she really apologized. It was a joke, but even though uh, she, it's not funny. Right. I, I don't know who would be. This joke would would not be funny at all, but at least she apologized. It doesn't seem the minister uh, Lou is gonna mm -hmm. come out and apologize. Well, she did, but she did. I think that she said. That oh, she did. She didn't really at first, but yeah. then she was sued and she got scared. And maybe there were powers backing her up and say, "Okay, you gotta continue with the story." Mm -hmm. I I don't know. 
but the, you know politics is dirty so right, right, right. yeah it's don't get into too much details <laughs> so um, do you have anything else to say about the spring water scandal um, I think it's great that she apologized uh, it's it's really good. It shows a good, you know, uh, side of character. But I think that it's something in Taiwan that you know you need to focus on. You have people coming here from other countries to see your country, and when you see the way the homeless people are treated here, um, that's a reflection of of you as a Taiwanese person and of every Taiwanese person. Uh, just like if people come to Canada and see homeless people there and what their situation is like, it's a reflection on us and our government and what we've done to help them. So it's something that I think is really important and uh, you know something that we should all, uh, as people living in Taiwan, try to change. Yeah, we definitely need to change. Yeah, vote for Thai. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right.